In this video, I want to teach you a nifty little trick, which is displaying the work breakdown structure of the project in the resource usage view. You know, in Microsoft Project, I really like the resource usage view. In this view, I can see every resource in my project team, and I can see every task to which those resources are assigned in my project. But there's one feature missing in the resource usage view. It does not include the summary tasks. In this video, I'll teach you the trick which will allow you to see summary tasks in the resource usage view and ultimately the work breakdown structure of the project. So let's get started. You know, the resource usage view is so cool. In this view, you can see the name of each resource. Below their name indented and italicized, you can see the name of each of the tasks to which they're assigned. And over on the right side of the screen, you can see a timesheet-like grid known as the time phase grid that allows you to see items like work or cost phased over time. There's only one thing missing in the resource usage view. You can see the tasks assigned to each user, but you can't see the summary tasks in which those tasks occur. For example, look at the tasks assigned to Dan Morton. I have no idea where in the project those tasks are actually located. It would be so awesome if we could display summary tasks in the resource usage view. Well, if you're watching my YouTube channel, you already know there must be a way to do this. And the way to do it is so simple, you're probably going to wonder, how did I miss that? Here's how to display summary tasks in the resource usage view. Click the View tab to display the View ribbon. Then in the middle of the ribbon, click the Group by Pick List button and choose the group Assignments Keeping Outline Structure. What Microsoft Project will do is display summary tasks using light blue cell background formatting. And as a bonus, it will even tell you the ID number of the task. So, for example, for Darlene Goddard, notice she's assigned to tasks in the pilot section and the deployment section of the project. For Heidi Rhodes, she's really busy with tasks in scope, analysis, design, pilot, and post-implementation review. So, that's the secret for displaying summary tasks in the resource usage view. Now you know how to use that special resource group to display the work breakdown structure of your project in the resource usage view. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If it was, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it but be sure and share it with your friends and colleagues as well. If you have questions or comments, I welcome them. Be sure and leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.